All right, we are finally back after all of that animation for the other units. I just want to point out, look how many other units there are. They've got more than twice as many as us. That is ridiculous. Way, way, way too many allied units on this map. That's another thing I don't like about it. Way too many allied units. I mean, that is not good at all. And you know what, I think I'm just gonna let the, um... I swear, if Skirmir dies... Okay, good, he can't even take damage from it. That guy's dead. Don't like that map at all. Oh, do we have to see all this? Come on, Skirmir, just arrive and end the map for us all. Put us out of our misery. Please? This is wasting my time. This is wasting the viewer's time. This is wasting Ike's time. This is wasting your own time. Hurry up. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> I'm glad to have that map done. I hate it. Yeah, the guards are dead. The rest of the troops fled to the east. And Skirmir goes out and... He just makes this really stupid speech right here. Soldiers of Galio, the battle's over. We have won. No human can stand against the Lagoos. We are not done yet. We'll continue to fight, kill, and crush our enemies. And as Soren mentions, what a stupid speech. It is very stupid. So yes, Mugil will be the next area that we target. I know it looks like Mughal, but it's Mugil. We know about Laren's Medallion. Yes, yes, the Fire Emblem. We don't want to launch a full-scale war because we almost broke the seal that was on it in the last war. The Medallion's under the protection of these three, Leanne, Rayson, and Raphael, the Serenus family. Okay, I'm not sure which map is immediately next, but it cannot be any worse than that one. Unless it was the desert one, but I know that's in part four, so it's not going to be here at all. Skipping the talking because it's taking up more time of the video. So, chapter one, Lagoos and Bjork. So, as usual, we'll have to talk to Soren because Soren is awesome and he always has the right plan. The Flagare survivors will have worn Mugil. No soldier should cower behind a wall. Well, they didn't build the fortress so they could stand outside of it. They're not going to come out of their own accord. So he leaves. Oh, I swear, he is... What are we going to do with him, honestly? I'm amazed that someone was desperate enough to make that full of general. So true. So very true. So this shows the Castle of Gallia. 
the actual capital. So we can't take the king away from the domain, that is why. As for Jissa, the lion's shadow, you think he would lead, but he has other duties to attend to. Which is a shame, because he would be a much better general. Lagoose choose their leaders based on strength. Exactly. And if that was the case in the day in um, Civil War that we had to deal with in Chapter 1, there is no way Makai would be leading. It'd probably be Edward. So, as usual, everybody's going to have to rely on Sorin because he's easily one of the better units in the game. And we have Balance, where Boyd and Rolf are talking about how Rolf complains that precision and skill is better, and Boyd complains that power is better. And then Oscar shows up and... Or no, it's Mist, isn't it? Yes, Mist mentions that you need to have Balance. Now, honestly, if I had to choose, I would pick Skill. Because we've all seen how many times somebody can have a ridiculous amount of power and keep missing your targets frequently. If we need more power, that's what bonus damage is for. So yes, those two are fighting. This one's kind of funny, especially from Gaytree. Oh, and this girl, you're going to think you're dreaming. She is lovely as the dawn, I'm telling you. All right, just show me how we're ready. Where is this sunrise with legs, anyway? What, are you saying you're actually curious? I thought I'd, or I never thought I'd see the day. Well, we're gonna have to hang around with these subhumans for quite a while. A pretty face will help keep me sane. Hey, you, you want to say that again? Ah. Oh. Hey, pussycat, you should have dropped by after dinner. I'm a generous man. I would have given you some table scraps. T table scraps? How dare you? You scum! Who do you think you are? I'm not going to forget that. Aw, Kitty wants to play? Sure, I've got some time to kill. Let's dance, hairball. So, yes. We have Liar, who's actually Lee's sister. She was not in the last game. We have uh, Kaiser or Kiza, whichever you pronounce it as, who we never used, and we will not use ever at all. So, yes. They leave. But here's the best part of the cutscene, right here. <sighs> what? Did all that stun you into silence? It looks like you've been hit in the head. So, her name is Liar. What a pretty name. Liar. What? Oh, come on. Don't tell me that girl you were talking about is that pussycat. Don't mock me, Shining. This is serious. I feel it. It's destiny. That girl and I are fated to be together. Now, out of curiosity, does anybody be a lot reminded of Sane from Fire Emblem whenever they think of Gaetri. Gaetri, I swear, you did on a tree if I dressed it in a skirt. Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, you're not. Gaetri is a lot like Sane, in my opinion. Who was actually not all that Sane in that game. He was rather insane. This one is just sword training. And Rai shows up because... If he gets hurt, Rise can heal. This is pretty funny. I think it's better I know how the injury happened rather than someone having just show up and bleed on the floor. That's pretty funny. <laughs> so what's wrong with you? It looks like I'm bleeding. Well, yeah, I can assess that much. Uh, <laughs> please go easy on each other. Were you listening? Hello? No, we were not listening to whatever it was you were saying. Not really much we can do here either, is there? We can already XP, that'd be nice. But I'm going to save it because I already mentioned several times I want you guys to choose. Should I use Rise or Mist? That is up to you. I'll just record all these parts and then I'll go over the reviews of who you guys want me to use. I will not use both though. I've got to use one or the other. Um, let's go ahead and get started on the second part. What the heck, we got time. This one's actually not that bad. It's another Fog of War map, but it's not near as bad. So, here's the plan that Sorn has devised. Basically, we have these three right here. Mist, Leith, and Liar. All three of these. 
basically they said they were supposed to hand out food, and then it's like, well, I guess there's something in the place. Don't go, that food is for us, we're sure of it. So basically they feed all the prisoners, or not the prisoners, the guards, and they all fall asleep and slack off on their duties. Uh, Watchmen are funny. As usual, Soren came up with a fantastic plan. Who are you? What happened to the lookout? Uh, they're asleep. And we have Romit. Hello, Romit. He looks like, um... I'll get to him. You have a limited number of turns to complete the bat or to finish the battle, complete your task in the set number of turns, and when to move on. Um, make sure that you don't use Liar or Leith, because they are other units, so you're going to want to direct them and just have them halt. Also, some enemy units are going to show up in here, so leave behind a few people. I'm trying to remember who it is. Um, I should know who that reminds me of. Rummet reminds me of somebody. I know he reminds me of somebody. Looks like we had a blue gem from that conversation that I did not pay attention to. A monk, that's who he reminds me of, a monk. Like, you know, from history, he reminds me of a monk. That's what it was. He reminded me of somebody, I just could not place it. I think even if Soren does it, oh, that's not good. I might have just accidentally messed myself up. There, now we have a shield. I nearly really messed that one up for a second there, but no, I think we're okay. Gaytree can't do anything. I think we'll just leave Gaytree here. Oh, that's right. He can counter that. I think we'll just leave it like that for now. Yeah, I knew he was going to go for Rolf. Oh, that must be a longbow, but it's probably, yeah, not going to hit. Longbows are so inaccurate. Here's an idea of ha the. This is one main idea of why I think the longbows are bad. You guys remember racing, right? Another hair, just kind of like Raphael or Leanne. I've had somebody attack Rayson with a longbow, and they missed. That's right, they missed one of the easiest units to kill in the entire game. Herons cannot attack, they have no... Well, they can use the Galders, but that's it, that's all they do. They've got really poor defense, they've got really poor HP, and he managed to miss it entirely. Alright, I think this turn's probably going to be pretty good overall. I've got a good feeling about this one. And yes, I see that house right there. I'm not blind. Alright, it looks like that's all the time we have right now, and so in the next episode, we'll continue this fight.
Later.